Alright guys, welcome back, Avatar here. We're going to go ahead and uh, change it up a little bit with Hearthstone since I'm playing the arena. There is a rank system, it's a pretty decent rank ladder now, so we're going to go ahead and check that out right now. And I'll show you guys the, the inner workings of my super secret decks. Um, currently you start at 25, I'm guessing you'd go up to 1. Every time you get 3 stars, I'm um, going to get a win, you go to the next ranking, and you start with 1 star. Anytime you get zero stars, because you lose for you lose a star for losing. Anytime you get to zero stars and you lose another game, you go back down to the next ranking with only two stars. Um, at rank 20, you can't lose any more stars. So once you get past those first five, um, you can't go back anymore. Um, but right now I can. So let's first of all let's take a look. I'm gonna be playing play, playing mainly this hunter deck. So let's uh let me, let me show you what's all about this hunter deck real quick. It's a secret stack, obviously, with the title. Um, it's got decent mana curve, right? It's got Organ, Infiltrator, Secret Keeper, Leopard Gnome for some early uh, potential there. I've got two Explosive Traps, one Freezing Trap, two Snake Traps, and a Snipe. One Scavenging High and Starving Buzzard, two Eagle Horn Bows, two Animal Companions, two Kill Commands, two Multi Shots, one Unleash the Hound, one Hound Master, two Explosive Traps, Tundra Rhino, two High Mains, two Long Boars, and one Clean Crush. So it's a little bit weak on, on uh, actual characters or actual creatures. However, it is a very strong deck. It has been doing very well for me. Uh, let's see here. I think I've only lost once so far in this ranked play arena. So um, it's, 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 it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a go, shall we? It's pretty early in the morning, so I don't know how quickly I'll find a point. I guess we're about to find out. I really like the new style of play. And I have a, it's a little bit more of a substantial ranking than it was before. But um, me and my friends have a, a big disagreement. I think that these decks can be very specialized, like like mine is, to actually get victories. And and they think that you just need a, a overall good rail running deck. I'm not not so sure. Which one? Come on. All right, here we go. First, oh, Bob, see your keeper. Come on, what do you have? You don't have a play. Hopefully it doesn't do anything too drastic so I can buff this guy with this freezing trap. Oh, coin! Put this apple on your head! No. Oh, son of a gun. That's annoying. It's really my only play here. I don't really want to let the buzzer go around. Kind of a waste, but. I hope you like my invention. Either that, let him hand me for three, and then who knows what happens after that. Crap. I think 
the one damage. So far, this guy's been pretty boring. We'll see what happens here. Do we go for the for sure remove on him, or do we just say screw it and multi shot? Hmm. You know what? I can't hang out of the starving buzzard forever, guys. I hunt alone. I would like to get. I want to get a card draw out of him. I'm gonna stick with him. Sorry. I just. I can't. I can't. I just. I don't want to put him out there just so I can get traded with something. I want to get at least one card out of him. So maybe if I even pull a hyena or maybe a snake trap, either one will be will be okay with me. I'm due for some traps, and I still have technically what two, four, so five secrets in the deck left still so come on buddy these guys take forever deciding I mean you can't have that many possible combinations in there so, the fact that we're dealing with the shaman we might have a hex but I think we're gonna put a hyena down next turn unless something something sinister happens or I get a hyena or something to, or maybe a snake trap we'll see Oh come on, bro! I will hunt you down. You know these people look like they go to the last second, and then as soon as that thing starts running down, they're like, "Oh, I was making a decision." Hey, watch. Or he just went AFK on us, which is also a possibility. What? Really? Well, let's make sure we turn this into a win then. Little time. Oh no, you're running out of time. Oh no, what will you do? Oh. Rush him down. This is what does rush him down. Yes, there is little time. So I wonder if he disconnected or what exactly happened, or if he just stepped away, just walked away. Had more important things to do than finish this game. This water is like just actually going, I don't know if I switched down or what. Alright. We're one step closer to 15. So when if you get a win streak, you get a bonus star, so then you get two instead of just one for a win. Oh, look at this now, it's four stars I gotta get. Interesting. It's gonna get much more difficult doing it that way. I will be honest with you guys, I've noticed a huge difference between the people I was playing, you know, even at even at twenty and twenty one and, and even at nineteen and the people I'm playing now. So even those few levels, um, the people are significantly better and they have better decks. Rexa versus Jaina. I, I don't know how long my uh, secret deck here is going to carry me, but we'll see. As of right now, I have three decks I keep playing. I play a this deck, I play a mage secret deck, and then I also play a murloc deck. Murloc deck is fun, but it's either basically win or lose in the first five minutes. If they have any way to kind of get rid of some of your buffing murlocs, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of bone.
It's all right. Basically just wasted a, a turn. It's okay. Mm, do we want our grants? It's explosive crap. I usually worry about mage decks, but the good thing about this deck is that it has a lot of direct damage, um, including, you know, four weapons. Two of which have three attack, and two of which have five attack, so... Do we just be that guy and play snipe as well? I think we do. Again, if I'm gonna play the buzzer because it's a mage, I'm not gonna just let her pick, ping it off, so I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna wanna get a card out of it at least. What worries me now is she's got a, quite a few cards in her hand. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Snipe, I don't think it's the best secret, but the reason I have one of them in this deck is just for the synergy with my bow. Oh, that was a mistake playing that. You will, you will realize. Yep. I want to know. Probably can't get up the right now. It's ironic. The weapon kills the six bomb. So right now we got we got a um, explosive trap. We can either sit on this eagle horn bow and let the durability gain. The fact is we have another one in there. So oh really? Well, that was just wrong. Who has two or six swampers in their game? In in, in freaking this type of in ranked play? That's just that's just crazy. I'm sure she's gonna buy more of them, but. She's got seven freaking cards in her hand. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Interesting. I don't know if she's gonna if she's doing that just to trigger the explosive trap or if she did it so she can play another creature. Well, why wouldn't you leave it the pie bar? Like seriously. Maybe she thought well, I don't know what she thought. I mean, it's alright. Yeah, it's whatever one of her one of her polymorphs, I'm okay with it, honestly. Notice my uh my mage deck, I have a mage deck that's secret as well. It's probably one of the strongest decks I've ever seen, honestly. Let's see what the play is here. He's just kind of sitting back, being defensive, and usually that wouldn't work against me or my specific deck because I have so many weapons and stuff, but I mean, I better start putting the pressure on here because this is kind of getting ridiculous. I think I might just kill Command for 5 damage next turn. He's got 7, he's probably going to wipe my board one way or another. Hmm, to North Red. hmm interesting. So many mana though, buddy. Okay. Well, we'll wait on the kill command then. Uh, I don't want to give him. I don't want to give him too many reasons to like flame strike, so I'm not gonna. Flame strikes are not fun. I don't think if I put both those on the board, you just put a flame strike. I can't afford to lose half my creatures with one spell. 
Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Well, it wasn't the worst possible outcome. I feel I don't know what he has in his hand, honestly, guys, because like he's not even using all his man. He's just kind of just I don't know. Sh I'm not sure what he's doing. That's a great. Okay. Yeah, I have plenty of removal when I need it. Um. I think I'm just gonna go straight for him at this point. I'm gonna hopefully play something else. I can just explosive shot him out, multi shot him out next turn. Do another five damage to him. Plus the raging organ. So that's seven. Puts him at six damage if I get a king crush anytime soon. Really? Alright, so it's gonna be a... It's gonna be a rush down deck, clearly. <laughs> mm hmm. Do we play both of these? Decision. Explosive trap doesn't kill kills one of them, doesn't kill the other. Doing both of them, which I don't want to do, will kill both of them. He's so low on health though. But who knows if he's just gonna pyroblast me next turn anyway. Well Oh wow, I didn't even think that one through, did I? Alright. I'll never tell. I wish I would have gotten some different card draw this game, but what are you gonna do? I mean, a Pyroblast would win right now. There it is. Alright. Now we know why she was just saving her hand. It was just all removal she wanted to save for me. Got some. Some bad draws there. And when you're sitting on like three, four types of removal against a priest who doesn't play anything, you're probably not gonna have the the best experience. Let's see if we can't get to what 15 now or 14. It sucks though, because once you get that winning streak, you get a couple stars per win. As soon as you lose, it starts to come that crawl again. Winning streak starts at three wins, so. I mean, three rows start getting that. No! Most warlocks I see, including my own, are the Murloc deck, so maybe you guys are going to see a Murloc frenzy. Hmm. Okay. I play the secret keeper. I don't know. He might I not go for me. Let's see what he decides. He just might go straight for my hero, which I hope he does. I hope you like my invention. Nope, I lied. Okay. Misha. Does he have a shadow bolt? Should have bolts are four, but you hmm. Scott, this is not a whoa. This is not a uh, <laughs> this is not a murloc deck, guys. I need a explosive trap. Well, that's awkward. So I don't want to get into a rush down battle with this guy. Considering I have a lot of removal in this deck, I think I do. Might be the wrong choice, but because I don't have any in my hand, but I mean, 
multi shot crucial here or explosive shall be crucial here or explosive trap would be I mean any of those would be lovely. My shield for Argo! Oh interesting. Doesn't really help us. Ooh, no, doesn't really help us. Damn it. Well, we're gonna take some damage here. If I play the hyena, it's just gonna get traded out inefficiently. If I play this, I'm not gonna actually be able to kill anything properly. I can kill that thing, but I'm playing a four cost just to get rid of this stupid one. Oh, at least it's damaging himself. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What? You think that's power overwhelming, maybe? Just buff it and kill everybody? One shot. Oh! One shot. More direct damage. There goes the Smonipe on the 1 1 of an archer. Awesome. Man, this is a bad start. Can we? Oh, really? Really? Okay, we gotta do something here. I hate this new card, honestly, but. <laughs> so inefficient. But, what do you gonna do? He's got six damage on the board. I... Oh, there it is. That's a good game. Well, that was unfortunate, guys. But that card draw. It's me a lot of useless cards. I wonder if, introspectively, I could... In situations like those, which cards were not helping me win the game? Beastmaster, or Taskmaster, or whatever, he, whatever his name is. But you know what? To be honest with you, several games he has won me the game, so... Or, or been a very big impact in it. Rexa versus Gul'dan. Not sure. I think this is the same freaking guy. Shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. Now I go first. Lovely. Huh. What kind of what kind of starting hand is this? A secret keeper with no secrets, a seven, and a freaking multi shot. Got eight twos in the deck for Christ's sakes. Come on. Oh. I'll never tell. He saw some sort of, sort of removal here. Gets all crazy with me. I think it's the same guy. I'm not positive. Put this apple on your head. Hmm, that's not where. Well, if I put that down, then he's gonna be sus suspect to just end up. Oh my god. <laughs> The trades are too strong. If I put the starving buzzer down, he's probably gonna plop like a freaking imp down. Yep, then he's gonna he would have ended up hitting the freaking starving buzzer. The no one wants that. Me. Really? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Is this the same guy? It's a completely different card so far. Can't wait to get my explosive shot out. I don't know that much. We're just we're just going for him, guys. Not playing this freaking game with him. We can spam all the one ones he wants out. Where are my explosive traps? Like, <laughs> we must a direct counter to what he's doing right now would be explosive traps, and he's just not getting any. Just not getting any. All right, let's call the call the flock a little bit here. Could have been worse, but hey. Next turn we'll buzzard and companion, hopefully. We got some top end damage here, thankfully, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Oh, for the love of God! Where is a flame shot when you need it? 
map there, that's for sure. At least we got Misha. Only we could have played that as well. Been a huge swing for us. Play some snake traps, get three card draw. Oh yeah, do some damage to yourself, buddy. Put this apple on your head. Oh. Do you know how much I would want a <laughs> explosive trap right about now? Yeah, this is the same. This is the same deck. Snipe, you don't you don't help me at all, Snipe. Do not help me at all. I just need an explosive prep so badly. My well, good news is he's only got two cards in his bad news he's got three, five, six, seven, eight damage left the field. Good news explosive prep would put a end to all of our sorrows. Bad news is we don't have one. Now I have people have an HP left. Oh for the love of god. It's not gonna help. Lovely. So I don't see us winning this one either. I'm just not getting the freaking draws I need at all. So I have six HP. That's three. F yeah, that's that's good game. Wow. Very sad, guys. Very sad. One on down. Let's go ahead and go to my mage deck. It's, it's basically the same concept. You guys will see. Let's see if I have any more luck with that. Mage deck is a little bit. I think it takes a little bit longer to get going. But um, to a hundred deck, it hasn't really filled me up at this point. I'm just getting a lot of bad card draw. I hate blaming an RNG game on RNG, but hey, just oh man, that was so Jane disappointing. Versus Rexa. Not to get explosive trap, not to get any of my alien clears, just absolutely toss those two back. Just absolutely saddening. Alright, well, going first this isn't that great, but I'll live with it. Give me a one cost. No, you will not. Okay. So, my Majex give me a plethora of secrets here. Which would be two turns before I can play any of them. Oh, he's gonna come out of the gate. Oh. A cracklisk? Hmm, interesting. We'll just ping him and move on our merry way. Next turn, I think we're gonna go with the Kirin Tor Mage and a Mirror Entity. Oh. oh. Oh my god, really guys? It's not gonna give me anything of value. Alright. See what he's got. He's a hunter, so I'm not really worried about too much removal, although I'm sure he does have a kill command. He should at least have a kill command. Starving buzzard. Ooh, give me a starving buzzard, which is going to be useless. Oh man, that's impressive. That is impressive. Um. Yeah, I can't summon a beast, so that's not gonna be any. Oh shit! I gotta. He's gonna die anyway. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Interesting. No creatures in my hand. The good news is if he ends up getting a few characters on the board, I have a flame strike, it turns that. Do we just fireball him and just say whatever? I think we do. Nice. 
problem oh the problem with this is I'm going to be giving that bow so much <laughs> um He's gonna have an infinite amount of durability in this bow, and I just. It is what it is. I don't have any swamp ooze in this deck. There's no room for it. Nice. Yep, give you all the durability. <laughs> No, really? It's an explosive crap. Well. That's what I get for uh, putting the little summoner guy down first. Apprentice. Oh well. Should have attacked him first. Hindsight's 2020. Bad mistakes, bad. Ooh, unleash the hounds. Counter spell. There goes that turn for you, buddy. <laughs> this thing is going crazy. Oh my gosh. That's just silly. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting, because now... I want a blizzard. I think I just want a blizzard. Yeah. Alright, so that works for me. Archmage Anton on this would be phenomenal right now. 19 cards left, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> at least 5 every turn, huh? Ah. Alright, let's see what his play is here. Does he take the 5 damage and hit? Does he have removal? Does he use the swamp pose? I don't, I don't think I'd ever put a swamp I mean, it's hard to say. Oh, you son of a bitch, you. That damn owl. Play some more cards, will ya? I dare ya. That works. He didn't even. He didn't even do this thing. Oh well. We gotta get Archmage out ASAP, and I don't know. This is gonna be a nail biter, guys. He's probably gonna win, but hey. Oh, is he going to destroy his, his bow? Nope. No, he will not. He refuses to destroy his you bow. My Look out! There's an Archmage on the, on the field. What do you have for him? Whenever you cast a spell, put a fireball spell in your hand. Oh, such a legitimate card. Top deck of fireball. Let's top deck of fireball. How do I still have 16 cards left? I feel like this game's been going on forever. Hello? Vaporize. Oh, Mace's little bow there, stronger. Oh, for love of God. Really? Okay. So. Polymorph. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna end up losing just to battle. Let's see, he can do three, he can do Don't five go. damage next turn. He can have like an arcane shot or something like that. Does he have a charge? Well played. Oh, he's got a charge. Counter spell. <laughs> Does he have anything else that could win him the game? Well, if I 
my shot. That doesn't do anything. Oh! He just... I just won the game, gentlemen. To battle. To battle. That counter spell. <laughs> uh, he got a little cocky there at the end, too. Oh, well played. Oh, no. Counter spell just stopped my... Unleash the hound. Let's do one more, shall we? What are we today? What are we, like, two for three? Something like that? Not my best outing, but... Take a look. You know what? I'm going to show you guys all my decks. Oh, can't stop already. It's, it's already in there. Wanted to try to get the Murloc deck in there, but... Denied. Gina versus Gul'dan. Ooh, a Gul'dan. Oh, this is a different one. Sure. Hmm. You asked for it. So, do I want to keep the... Why not? Let's, 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 live, let's live dangerously. Ugh. Yeah, this isn't the best hand, but... Hopefully we get a good card to play next turn, or the only, or only play will be Coin Counterspell, I'm not sure I want to do that. Maybe we can Fire Blast something off. Although, Coin Counterspell would make him a 3-3. Put this apple on your head! Really? Come on. Well, that's not going to help us there. I think we just let him... I think we just let him trade it. That's fine. Blech. Hmm. He's thinking long and hard if he wants to trade that or not. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead. There you go. Alright, so this is simple. That. Do we want to frost bolt? Nah. We'll, we'll take the two damage hit. The harvest golem is such a good card as far as like trading other cards for it, but I mean at the end of the day it's only like, oh That's always it's always fun. Well I think we do that. Coin counter spell. What the hell? What the hell just happened? What the hell? I just played counter spell, right? Why is it not on my Oh what the hell? I what it says I play Counterspell. Okay, whatever. I guess if he ever plays a spell, we'll find out if it took or not. I hope you like my invention. Mm, I smell a blizzard, guys. I smell a blizzard. Do I have to? Ooh, that's gonna be awkward. Ooh. Okay. What? Well, wasn't that kind of awkward, eh? Freaking imps saved all their lives. My shield for Argus. Well, we got flame strikes for days. try to put some sort of pressure on him. I only have 20 HP left. He's got 5, 8, 12. He's got 13 damage on the, on the table if he just if he just rushes me. I don't know if he's going to rush me because I have a 5-5. Five, five. Good news is, is that I can just flame strike next turn and clear the board and, and try to crawl my way out of here. That way. Really? What's with all these fucking soul fires? God, it's such a stupid card. 
Did he have to discard a card for that? He should have had to discard a card for that. He freaking committed. Alright, that's the game you want to play? Really? Okay. Do you have anything else you want to add? I, I don't think I'm going to win this one unless I... I do have an ice block in this deck simply to proc the Eternal Arcanists um, passive perpetually. Oh, really? God damn it. That Hellfire. Well, that was a loss. Win or lose, win or lose. Alright, so let's just play one with the Murlocs. I don't think it Murlocs can compete at this level. All those levels aren't really that high. It's just, it's too... The, my decks seem to be very RNG. -y, RNG. They have these like perfect combinations that you can kind of pull out of your ass, but then if you don't, you lose. But at the same time, the normal decks I've created, it's, it's the same thing. It's like... Yeah, if you both are just kind of playing, whoever kind of gets the slight advantage of playing, the other person gets an awesome kind of synergy that they win. Just kind of bland up the way you look at it. I go first, man. Eh? Alright, well. We're gonna he'll go ahead and keep that. The good news is the Warlock isn't gonna have much in the way of removing these. So. I like this deck. I honestly like this deck. The problem is, is I I find it it's too easily removed. Really? You're a mortal coil? All right, buddy. Murlocs are just too easily removed by you know mass mass you know AOE. You can get three, four, five Murlocs out. You can do some serious plays for some serious damage. Um, even just having these two out, you can do seven damage right here. So he needs to now. He does he need a Hellfire or something. Ooh, coin, coin what? Coin Hellfire. Coin Hellfire. Well, I mean, he hurt himself in the process, so. I don't really want to battle cry these guys if I don't have any other stuff. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, these guys are okay, but I mean, they're real bread and butter comes from a battle Your cry. Magic shall not uh, see forced him to silence without silencing. Blood him. Put a blood him down. He's got a lot of cards in his hand. We need to try to continue this rush down quickly. Hopefully this survives. I can throw a bunch of Murlocs down and see what happens. What are the odds that he's in our Hellfire, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Do I want to just seven soul this guy? Or drain life with water coil. Believe it or not, I don't like drain life um, creatures in this section because sometimes I need, I need the ex just a little extra yeah. bit of oomph to to end up killing him. But that situation I need some more Murlocs. I have no time for games. Oh, that's awkward. I just, he's gonna get a freaking blood him, he's gonna end up trading. Let's, let's go balls in the wall here and see what happens. <laughs> Tavanas can trade one, or he can just Hellfire. I mean, Hellfire's not gonna kill him though. Oh, I didn't even attack the last guy. Oh, I'm so bad. I, I 
can't deal with two five fives that are gonna end up stealing my guys. <laughs> I mean, come on. If some of my Murlocs survive, I'll be happy. I'd like all three of them to survive, but. He's casting all the removal. Oh, my blood in boy. I'm gonna lose there. <laughs> I don't see me making it out of the way. He's gonna have too much healing for my more like that can sustain really. They're already cycling soul twice, which is one. I don't know how many I have an effect, honestly. See what happens, Dominic. See what happens. I mean, dude, you got nine cards. You really need more cards in your hand? Like, what the hell? I'm working off of one card. Oh, man, yeah, gotta get that extra Twilight Drake out there, of course. Can't forget about that guy. That's 8 damage, 10 damage, <laughs> do I want to cheese him, <laughs> can't kill him but I can come awfully close, I can do top deck, he can do 12 damage next turn. If only I did, could do one more than if I top decked a drain life, I could win. That's kind of funny. Play all the giants. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's sad. Really, dude? <laughs> I mean, I guess it confirms the win. There's no way I can really kill him now. Let's see what else I got. Oh, that drain life. A little bit too little, a little bit too late. Alright, good game, guys. Well, that's the Murloc deck. <laughs> it's, it's win earlier or lose. Oh, man, I'm just losing away here. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I will uh, hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of rank play now. I will see you guys next time.